son decided as part of a holiday project that we all needed to paint. So we went and set up outside under our oak tree watching an American painter, Bob Ross, on YouTube. So it took a couple of days to do it and it was really fun. The boys had fun, but they stopped after un only one painting. However, I was just completely hooked. And this is my very first painting ever. I hadn't actually painted, and, um, except for when I was a child, like in primary school, I hadn't done anything ever since. Yeah, so the boys stopped, but I haven't stopped painting since. Rarely a day goes by without me doing some sort of painting. I was actually so amazed that I loved painting and it was something that I could do. And I could do it well enough so that I was pleased with the finished product. Well, initially when I started, um, it was Bob Ross who is an American painter, I think from the 70s. He paints very literal oil, uh, landscapes in oils. But now, as I've started to develop my own style, I'm more in, I've been more inspired by Bob Burridge. Uh, he's a Californian painter who creates really bold, colorful works of um, still lifes and landscapes, very impressionist. And I just love the depth and bold colors that he uses. Um, and his encouragement always to go looser. And he always says, um, underneath every good painting, there's an even better abstract painting. I'd have to say I'm inspired by nature. I love the depth and richness of colour of the ocean on, on a stormy day, or when I sit outside under our oak tree. I love looking up through the trees and, and seeing the dappled light peeking through the tree branches or sunlight playing through tall grasses. So I, I feel inspired to paint those feelings through colour and texture. At the moment, my landscape work is developing a theme centred around horizons. So in 2019, I'm planning to have a solo exhibition in the Yarra Valley and I'm going to call it Horizons. 